Aloha from Hawaii, and we're going to talk today about some things, uh, some new, interesting, amazing uh, updates with uh, NFTs, with the Olympics, with a lot of things that are happening today. And it keeps on saying that I'm lagging, so we'll see how this turns out. But I want to get this really out to people because there's been a few updates in the last few days about NFTs, specifically buying physical uh, digital VR AR uh, metaverse NFTs where you can get them and purchase them for different platforms pretty neat uh, year of the tiger welcome in the year of the tiger we are in the year of the tiger starting February 1st and it's going all the way to the end of the year so if you believe and you follow Chinese uh, zodiac Chinese uh, culture definitely want to look into that <clears throat> And we also started the Olympics, so all this stuff ties into together into what I study. Um, if I don't study history, if I don't study what's going on in the world, then I do not know what's going on, right? Uh, how did I know about the digital platform NFTs? And people don't know what NFTs are. They're not real. It's just digital art. It's hoopla. And however, things are changing to where it's not just hoopla anymore so welcome in the olympics if you're an olympian watching the olympics from the sidelines it, there's a lot of different platforms we can watch uh the olympics on virtual reality the oculus goggles they have those things set up where you can actually sit there and it's all set up they have the environment the virtual environment set up where we can watch it together with other friends um and i have not checked that out however i may check that out this afternoon depending on the schedule so I just want to show this. So there's going to be a lot of things. Uh, I believe that the Olympics is a stage for uh, February, for the month of February, for 2022 in general, to start the stage for what's coming um, down the pipeline. And as we see, <clears throat> Putin and Xi released joint statement condemning NATO expansion and more. And you can read this. It's on Infield Wars. Uh, this is a relatively short clip. That's a short tweet. But the big thing is that they're forming an alliance, right? Russia and China, as world powers with rich cultural, historical heritage, have long uh, standing traditions of democracy, which rely on thousands of years, blah, blah, blah. And this is opposed the abuse of democratic values and interference in the internal affairs of sovereign states under the pretext of protecting democracy and human rights so there's a lot of information in this uh, each nation has a unique history culture social system and level of social economic development therefore human rights should be seen through the prism of the real situation and here's where you want to check out right here this is really in order to accelerate the implementation of the un 2030 agenda for sustainable development so if you have not and this is what i study right 2030 so the un there's paperwork on this stuff there's files there's pdf files if you're not tracking what the united nations is doing uh the who um the, all these international global interplanetary type uh, organizations that are coming to light uh, I would say stay out of the circus, um, the circus show, and that's kind of what it is, a political circus show. This is the real world. This really affects our bottom dollar, our, our budget, our financial development, social, economical. These are the leaders of the world, um, and this is what I would follow, right? Not the puppet shows. So there's more information. You can look at this stuff. It's really good to look at, too. Uh, the nations are calling for a single global anti-terrorism front. Single global anti-terrorism front. And it's always been, this has always been the agenda. So single global anti-terrorism front. So that's going to come out, right? That's coming out. Russia and China believe that such actions are contrary to the objectives of security, sustainable development of the Asia-Pacific region, and I am in the Pacific region. So, increase the danger of an arms race in the region and pose serious risk of nuclear proliferation. <laughs> An arena of armed confrontation and condemns the weaponization of space. 
world powers and permanent members of the UN Security Council, Russia and China pledge to strongly advocate the international system. International system. And there's a lot of key words. What we're seeing is a international a centralization of uh, world powers, of military resources, and that's what they're calling for now. It's all going into one, right? So it's no longer just countries fending for themselves and taking care of themselves. It never really was. States, territories, that type of thing. We're all merging into one where there's going to be one that can kind of rules them all. So there's a video you can watch and there's other information. I just want to throw that out there because those are the leaders that we should be following <clears throat> um, if we study history, even in the past history too. So Digifox, oh, I'm going to talk about that later, but Digifox, that's one of them. Go over there, we'll talk about Mozilla. So Mozilla is refusing, and if you don't know this, if you're not tracking crypto, refusing crypto donations criticized by and doge is one of those that's criticizing so mozilla they're not accepting any donations um recently i believe last week they just kind of st stopped it <clears throat> and there's a big battle with crypto right and i don't know if i talked about this on the last one or not turkey india and china look to ban crypto and we can go into that one this is the way the world is going they announced so India just announced that there's a CBDC that they're coming out with shortly. And now they're going to ban crypto. Russia is looking to ban crypto and they're coming out with the CBDC. Why? Because of energy. They're going to say it's energy, right? It's wasteful energy. Only bad people use it. Blah, blah, blah. All the spin that they want to put into the uh, the psychosis of the people, of you, of of me. And the manipulation so that you're not prepared and you're not ready. So yeah, you stay away from it, right? It's bad. Marijuana is bad. Uh, these things are bad. Cocaine is bad. All these things are bad, right? <clears throat> Until they legalize them 20, 30, 40, 50 years later in different states and different areas. And, diff and they ban them in other areas. So it's pretty interesting how the world works. So the U.S., Germany, and Iran moved to use it. So you can see the formation of the Axis and Allies um, if you look at the world wars and the history. So we're going to cover cryptocurrency. And I know that you can look at this. Right now, today, we're at 41.5. 41.5. So we jumped up quite a bit in the last day or two. So like I said, since the beginning of the Olympics, and we also have the Super Bowl coming up shortly. Um, if anybody, if you're an NFL fan or not there's a lot of things happening in february in my opinion and this is not financial advice this is for entertainment purposes only and if you like if you could like subscribe and share this information that would be great because it goes against the algor algorithms of uh the sites so everything if you want to stay relevant stay present we have to like you know if we see a video feed and this is not just for mine this is for others so if you see it and you watch it and you enjoy it make sure you like subscribe it because it really helps the individuals the algorithms um, against the mainstream because the mainstream is so powerful so big they don't need the likes and subscribes as much as uh, the little the little businesses the little people so when you do that when you're on these social sites social media sites entertainment sites that make sure that uh, we look into liking and subscribing right it's just a little click it doesn't take long it takes a second so you can see it's more green more green more green and my my opinion my guesstimate is that the olympics for the olympics this is going to go green 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 and it's going to go green i was listening to a video where we're looking at the sec lawsuit for xrp should be finalized possibly possibly april august time frame September time frame. They should come to a settlement, a conclusion. And uh, if they don't, and all that tells me, all that tells me, I don't have a portfolio set up. All that tells me is that they need more time, right? The whole thing is a dog and pony show. So the reason they extend it is because they're not ready to roll it out yet. They're not ready to, what is it? They're not ready to roll out the real system, the whole system, right? The, the citizens of the world, the people of the countries, of the territories, of these agencies, the banks, the financial markets, uh, the businesses, they're not quite prepared. So follow, I would say, follow XRP, right? XRP has been battling in an SEC lawsuit 
and now they're going back after the SEC. So if you, I have stock, I have um, stake in this, and there's also something where the XRP is going to pay back. Uh, see if I can look that up so I don't forget to talk about it. I was looking at that too, but they're going to offer some incentives for stakeholders, for people that held their their tokens, their crypto, while they're going through this. So it's it's been it's one of the first major major moves um, as a result of this. So look for a culmination and and this will affect it will trickle down just like the year of the tiger, the Olympics, everything coming in February. This lawsuit with the SEC, the United States, so XRP is utilized in many different countries. Um, in the U.S., they want to stop it. They want to put all these rules, regulations, and how does that affect the whole, right? How does one little thing affect the whole? So as you can see, it's at 66 cents. If we click on it, we can see <clears throat> where it was. And I bought this a few years ago. It was at 64 cents. It was at an all-time high of, uh, and this is one day one day so 68 cents and it dropped back down to 66 so this is kind of what I do I look for the highs and I look for the lows the mediums there's the low and then I just kind of gauge it from there to me uh, charts and graphs are nothing but the ocean They're just a bunch of waves going up and down up and down and up and down and there's a lot of things into it right uh, momentum there's energy there's a lot of things that go into uh, things and you can look down and scroll down and you can see the momentum here right the undertoes that's how i look at it right because i'm in hawaii there's oceans all over there are beaches all over so it's nothing more than a big wave coming in settling down and that's kind of what people are doing they're buying and selling they're holding hodling they call it nowadays hodling you go to one year and this is kind of how it was 44 cents at the onset and we'll go to all so a 0 0.005 just imagine you bought this at 0 0.005 right and you held on to it we got in about here 2018 2019 and then the freeze came where they froze all the assets as they're going through the SEC lawsuit so when I had it on Kraken um, there was a message sent out on Kraken that if you don't do it by December you know withdraw cash in do all this stuff by December it will be frozen in your account so you cannot you can sell it however you can't do anything else with it you can't buy more XRP they froze all XRP on Kraken um, <clears throat> and that's they're just looking out for themselves so the thing is what do you do with it right do you sit on it when that lawsuit came down and that came out about December about this time I want to say 2018 about this time um, you can kind of see where it peaked right a dollar forty and then it kind of hit some turbulence because they knew they were going to court right and people were getting scared right about here and they were selling off and the court system SEC was filing suit so some things were happening in this area and that's looking back looking forward this is what was going on it was it was set to take off right it was going too fast and the reason XRP is so so good if you compare it to Bitcoin is that apparently it takes about three seconds two to three seconds per transactions anywhere in the world and possibly interplanetary so this system right here that they have set up the only thing that you sacrifice is your security right so it's not as secure as Bitcoin Bitcoin takes a little bit longer you know we're talking minutes five minutes uh, possibly per transaction and they're looking at lightning nodes and, and things like that opening up and they're always working on things but XRP right now uh, since inception they've always been the fastest right about two to three seconds and that's what they've been known for so their transaction time is two to three seconds and you sacrifice a little bit of the security protocols that means you're when you're going sending this information these transactions through their chain through their system that <clears throat> there are loopholes little loopholes security issues problems that people can hack into people can get into that it's in this space right the digital realm um it you know and it's your choice if you want to use it so but right now we're looking at it's getting back right though so it's starting to build up momentum and they're they're saying some of the people that follow this stuff all the time they're saying that looking at april september 
to find a conclusion for this uh, lawsuit. So some people are saying it's going to zero, it's going to zero, and you know, just be careful who you listen to, who you watch. So study your information, and if you're, you know, they have, the good thing about this, they have, generally they have like information you can find on this. And here's all the sites you can go. So what did I do when it was stuck on Kraken? And I couldn't do anything with it, it was frozen. I transferred, I figured out how, to transfer it to KubeCoin. And if you've never done that, we'll do videos on, on transferring from one to another. Because it's a very scary thing when you're doing thousands and thousands of dollars. If you're doing $10, I would say the gas fees probably are gonna cost a lot, quite a bit. XRP, I believe they have higher gas fees. Um, <clears throat> so that might prevent you from doing a transfer. However, for me, I can make that up on the back end because earnings, staking, you can stake and you can lend on Qcoin, so that's what I've been doing as a result, and it's a pretty much automatic, instantaneous. I check it and uh, make back the the earnings from lending them out because people all over the world are using these sources of tokens. It's not just the the U.S. dollar. It's not just you know the the rupee, Indian Indian rupee. It's it's not the Afghan or the Iraqi dinar. It's not those international currencies. It's it's these kind of moving in the forefront. So that's XRP. Follow XRP. That's always my advice. Um, again, this is not financial advice, just for entertainment purposes. However, if you want to see kind of where the, the courts are going in the U.S. and how this is going to trickle, you know, they they have a, a little bit of momentum. And if it's a dying, if it's dying off, that means that they would be losing their lawsuit. But I see a lot of momentum up and down, up and down. If you want to follow, if you have international currencies, this is what I use on my phone, International Currency Exchange. I have about different, 10 different uh, international currencies where you have the paper, right? You have the paper, uh, paper like the dollar. A lot of people that are being, that are hearing this, <clears throat> they have uh, the dollar, they'll have the dollar, right? Um, I have a whole bunch, but I like the one, you can look at a whole bunch of different ones, right? You can type in your own, make a list. I have that on my phone. I have a list that I look at. Vietnamese dong, that's what I have, one of them. And from, we'll go to, here's a test. So if you just want to test it out. If you want to go to an international currency exchange. And the good thing about Hawaii, no, I don't want that. P e and D. And this is what I use pretty much all the time. So, for one dollar, you can get twenty-two thousand Vietnamese dongs, right? That's the value. So, when you look at the value of cryptocurrency, of NFTs, of gold and silver, right now the US, the USD is pretty much the international milestone, right? Since the gold back standard was taken off, we're looking at. The U.S. dollar has been pretty much the global uh, monarchy. It's been it's been what everyone goes off of. It's what every everything is based off of the U.S. dollar. The question, though, with all this inflation and all these dollar printings, where is going to be? Is it going to be in the future? Is the U.S. dollar going to be the the kind of gold back standard, or is it going to shift to something else? Right. Because Russia and some other countries are not utilizing the U.S. dollar anymore. So if you're not aware of that, the collapse of the dollar, the depreciation of the dollar. So if you see inflation, that means the depreciation of the U.S. dollar. The printing, you cannot print things out of thin air um, off a of printing press. It's not even being printed off the printing press anymore. It goes straight into your direct deposit for the most part. Some people get checks and they cash the checks at the banks. Uh, generally, though, the people won't do cash. So we're already kind of going into that digital world. We've been in that digital world for a number of years. <clears throat> so this, if you want to do international currency, I mean, this is one of those things that I use. I utilize quite a bit. So there's many different forms of, of value systems out there, currencies and ways to not just a stock market, right? There's gold and silver. There's precious metals. I always say precious metals is God's gold, right? These things are on the periodic table. And I pulled this one up. You can use a lot of one, but Keepco is kind of good. And it says, did silver really go up? So if you don't track this stuff like I do, you don't really know. If you check it once a year or if you never check it, 
I have family that ask me questions on it, and I can kind of go off the top of my head what I saw because I check this stuff pretty much all, all the time. Um, once a day, twice a day, three times a day, it only takes a click to see, and I like to know where it's at. So it's been pretty much at 1800, so last year it was at 17, uh, 80s, 90s, <clears throat> and it barely reached 1800 for gold. Silver has been about 22, 23, 24, 25 um, last year. But it's been struggling to stay 22, 23. And the, the thing that they're saying about silver, why is silver so important? Gold is really important. It's God's gold. And silver, they've used this throughout history, right? Go back to Egyptian times, uh, jewelry, all these silver, jewelry, you know, platinum. If you want to get platinum, something that's not on here, you might want to look into uranium, right? Uranium is one of those things that they say with everything coming out with the future with all the technology um, infrastructures being made they're going to need silver and uranium right those are the the top some of the top twos that they're going to need especially for the chips all these chips that need to be manufactured in outer space um, <clears throat> the spaceships if you look at Elon Musk the vision for SpaceX pretty much the whole planet will be covered in spaceships right and that's kind of what Elon, that's a project on Elon Musk. Elon Musk is working on so much. His team, not just him, but his team is working on so many things. I looked at it a little bit yesterday. If you're not following Elon Musk or looking at Elon Musk and what they're doing, Tesla, not just Elon Musk, but Tesla as a whole, what is being built, what is being made, what is being thought of, it's out of this world. <clears throat> so silver is one of those things that's going to be utilized. And if you look at your, your phone, uh, you can Google this, you can search this. Look at your phone, the SIM card in your phone possibly could have some G-O-L-D. You know, if you break it down, G-L-D, that's what the abbreviation code is. But the SIM card could have some gold in it. And I've watched videos on this and how you can break down SIM cards and then you can make gold, right? So some people are taking these and trading them in, not knowing what's inside these these devices. What's not, what's not inside the, what's inside these devices? They don't know, right? They don't know what's inside these devices. So they're trading them in at places like GameStop or these exchange places. <clears throat> and they, they get a new phone. And they may have traded in some gold, right? At $1,800 an ounce. This is in ounces, by the way, if you do not track it. So it's been up 3.8%. Change 0.21%. In my book, it hasn't really moved. $1,800, I'm not too impressed with that. The real, what is the real value of gold? This is my opinion. If I look at Bitcoin, if I look at Bitcoin, I go back to CoinCap. This right here is the real value of gold today. And why do I say that? Not too long ago, if you go to the U.S. debt clock, if you go to the U.S. debt clock, and they made this really nice in the last year or so, a couple years, they've been working on this quite a bit. And you can see paper to silver, you can see dollar to gold, you can see <clears throat> dollar to crypto now, and it's 1260, right? 9,000, that's back in uh, inception days, back when it first came into being, about 9,892. <clears throat> so there's, there's a disclaimer on this, there's a problem with this, that dollar crypto ratio back in 2013 so why isn't this tracked back in the beginning that's my question why doesn't it go back to when it was a dollar or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars this is not accurate in my eyes that's just my go-to like okay in 2013 but what about when it was at a thousand or a hundred <clears throat> and now it's at forty thousand so dollar to crypto ratio now and this goes back and forth I saw it at nine dollars seven dollars and now it's at twelve dollars twelve point sixty dollar to silver three thousand so that jumped up quite a bit that's this is what i look at for information real information <clears throat> if i want to know i look at the u.s debt do i trust this 100 percent? no i trust it 50 percent <laughs> so twenty one thousand and this used to be about forty thousand right not too long ago less than a year ago this was at forty thousand and climbing so when I say inflation, deflation, and I look at these things and put these things together, and this is just my opinion, this is the real number of gold. And right now, Bitcoin is battling 
for gold supremacy, to take out gold. And that's what the battle is, right? With all of them, not just uh, Bitcoin, but with all the cryptos. They're battling to take out and take the place of gold, right? So though, this is something that you can look at. You can look at go forward. You can look at 2026. And on the phone, you can jump up, uh, I believe, you can jump up eight years. So if you want to look at a futures, this is what gold and silver, this is what gold was, you know, present day, present day, less than a year ago, less than a year ago. This is what it was saying, 40,000, 38,000. And if you go up farther, can we go up farther? Yeah, on this one, you can't go farther. But on the other ones, it used to say 100,000 when you go forward enough, because it's going to grow and grow and grow. The need for this is growing right the silver paper to silver crypto twenty dollars so that's pretty good usually when i look at this it's about nine dollars seven dollars and silver four thousand you can see that it's still the need for it is still there and of course you can go now you can go on this and you can check out so much energy input auto sales home sales and on the phone there's just so much there's space there's debt, there's inflation. You can just go by city, um, NASA missions. So I would definitely say check it out if you're into uh, finances and into understanding the markets, right? This is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. I keep on saying that because it's a disclaimer, legal disclaimer for us. So now we're going to get into some fun stuff. We talked about Putin, Xi, the Olympics, Turkey, India, China. Uh, the big battle is the financial markets, right? Central banks. You look at this, the IMF. You look at the central banks. Uh, of course, they don't want to give up the power. They, they have a monopoly on things. If you play the board games of old, uh, the banking systems are the banking systems. They want to keep their banking systems. They want to keep the power, so they don't want to give up the power. So we're going to talk about NFTs. This just came out. <clears throat> Yesterday I found this out. So which one should we talk about? Digifox? Digifox is something relatively new. Before we go into F NFTs, Digifox is something new I, I just found out about where the Digifox is an all-in-one finance platform. Earn 50 to 100x more on your interest. Buy crypto and send money globally. I have not tested this out. I have not looked into this. However, um, this is information is just coming out, just being launched, just starting. So, this look for this in the in the coming days, coming weeks to be more known. Um, start earning five to nine percent. So five percent is about pretty much a savings account. Less than well, less than that, but five percent, ten percent. If you can get nine to ten percent, I say that's pretty good. Interest on your savings. So the average interest paying rates fifty to blah, blah blah blah. Buy cryptocurrencies with ease. So you can buy cryptocurrencies with ease. Fourteen plus unique cryptocurrencies. Deposit money from your bank, and if you haven't noticed. Uh, it's so much easier. These banks are so connected. Literally, when I got my new tower, I applied for their credit card. And within a half a second, and that's where I look at XRP. I talk about XRP. It's real time. Literally within a second, a receipt was printed and I got approved. And it showed me the value that I was approved for. So these platforms <clears throat> um, are using a lot of AI, artificial intelligence, so fast and it moves so quick. I was looking at a video video yesterday on creating different uh, skins for NFTs for the virtual world. So this might interest you or not. Did you know that there's a code, there's a script that you can download where it's an artificial intelligence creating a picture and all you have to do is type in a little bit of words and it will get, paint you a picture in the virtual realm. A one of a kind, a unique picture. Artificial intelligence, right? You don't have to do a thing besides type in the code and wait a few seconds, wait a few minutes, and it will show you a new picture never seen before. That's where we're moving to, right? Um, and here people like me and other people are wasting time, taking up valuable time. We create this huge, amazing piece of work. And within minutes, an AI can give you something without even, you know, a drop of sweat. So 
when you're in competition with, say, Townstar or games or something, there's scripts for that, there's codes for that. The last time I checked, I shut it down for this uh, thing because I wanted to make sure there wasn't enough glitch or any glitch. <clears throat> and it's been running over and over. Uh, I was in 39th place. And that's because of scripting coding. That's not because of me clicking, clicking, clicking and monitoring it. I've monitored that system maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes in the last two to three days, four days. That's it. Um, thanks to the scripting and the coding. That's where the world is going into codes. So if you don't understand coding, the virtual world, you may get left in the stardust. So this is uh, something that you might want to check out. It's just... Definitely look it up because I just found out about it. I just heard about it. I think Michael Saylor was saying that it's just kind of coming out. Digifox. Is it, was it him? Or Bitcoin. It's either Bitcoin or Michael Saylor. Need to pay a friend back, send money, or family overseas. Hey, that's good too, especially for the military folks. You know, if you're in the military, God bless you. Um, I don't know if they do cryptocurrencies when you go do your pre-deployment things as of yet I always tell you you can start your uh, your uh, uh, thrift safe the TSP thing right I don't know if that's going to go into cryptocurrencies so people in the military definitely want to check out family members want to check out okay how can I get my biggest bank because if it goes in the TSP if you if that's a whole new ball game right that's a whole new ball game when I was in and I got the TSP I did it and then getting it out of the TSB is like pulling teeth, right? It took months. And then I helped a friend get his out because uh, he didn't know the process. And it's a very lengthy process. If the words, the I's aren't dotted, if the T's aren't crossed, it, it's canceled out, nothing moves. So if you do that two or three times, four times, it gets frustrating. <clears throat> and that's your money that gets sent into this uh, retirement plan. It's a good plan, but when you need it, and you want to transfer things to, uh, say, cryptocurrency or the stock market or gold, silver, or utilize it, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do to stay relevant. You can send, any, send money anywhere across the globe in a matter of seconds for as little as five cents, a nickel. Supported cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ether, ETH tokens. So those are the main three and then you can look at some of the tweets bitcoin will gain more trust once you can walk into a 7-eleven ah, and buy a snickers they have lots of 7-elevens here in hawaii so look into that definitely check it out i'm going to check it out some more too digi fox there's not a lot of information like i said it just came out so the nfts uh we're talking about nfts aren't real it's not backed by anything it's not physical so i want to show you this and this is just an advertisement or a website physically redeemable nft marketplace development and this is one of them one of the few that are just coming out physically redeemable nft is the new trend in nft that welcomes innovation at its peak you can get imperative demand what is a physical redeemable nft an nft is referred to as a non-fungible token which is a smart contract inheriting rarity royalty scarcity of your digital as well as real world asset which is in fact proof of authentic authenticity and ownership inscribed in a blockchain to record all and any transaction regarding that nft that can be bought and sold or auctioned online using fiat as well as crypto and then do 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 all right how is a physical NFT different from digital? Intangible assets or the assets that are available only in the digital medium occupy a major role in NFT's development phase. At the initial stage, NFTs were just for the people who prefer to collect the collectible. NFT's unique nature and study security made it expand in all possible ways. Now NFTs are used in various industries and play various roles. NFTs are mainly utilized by the art creator based community where NFTs give them an opportunity to tokenize their work. A physical asset. NFTs or unique tokens can also be made for real world physical assets like painting or a house or a vehicle or anything that exists physically. These NFTs can be presented physically in the form of a barcode, 
QR code. QR code. If you haven't noticed, those things just kind of came out right and now. They're all over. It wasn't. It's by design. Nothing is coincidence. Uh, I look back at some of the books I got, and it's amazing how far back it actually goes. Those QR codes it goes back 2015, 2016 is where they started implementing those. Now it's everywhere. Everything's a barcode. Menus. You go to the restaurant. Menus. 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 Barcodes. Um, it's so easy, quick and easy. As the world is claiming ownership of its digital asset, a new trend is com commencing in regulating NFT protocol in real life as well. Physical NFTs are starting to bloom in our society, revolutionizing the concept of trusting a third party. And then it tells you how it works. <clears throat> watch our NFT marketplace demo. If you want to watch the real demo. I thought there's going to be more on here. However, now, I was listening to BitBoy yesterday and he was talking about it too. So I believe he mentioned this one, Terror Virtue Collections. Unique, unique. He was actually talking about unique. Um, build NXT, next generation NFTs. Unique Network is a scalable blockchain for composable NFTs and advanced economies. The NFT chain built for Polkadot and Kusama, if I say that right. I do have that token. I do have both those tokens, those coins. So if you don't understand those coins, if you don't understand the world of cryptocurrency, all these things are kind of growing. Um, and that's what the businesses are doing. They're taking these coins. They're looking at these tokens. They're looking at these things and saying, okay, we're going to utilize this. There's this much in existence. And they're saying that Shiba or Doge, Shiba coin, there's so much that it's never going to grow to a dollar or to a penny because they're going to have to burn a whole bunch of the coins, um, tokens to become relevant, to have that, you know, that need. And that's what they say about the Shiba and some other coins. Most of them have a cap, a market cap, a diamond in the rough. This just came out, literally came out within the last week. <clears throat> Flexible economic models, advanced ownership, blah, blah, blah. Art gaming, developers, collectors, deep Polkadot experience, build a blockchain champion. The first NFTs on Polkadot, 10,000 unique NFTs launch airdrop for polka dot decoded and these are all the companies you can look at so why am i bringing this up and then if you want to join the telegram group a lot of people i talked to somebody who said telegram what's telegram telegram is one of those besides discord and discord those are relatively the newer ones and what is this i don't know what that is <clears throat> it's a new chain blockchain the nft chain built for polka dot Kusuma. So there's not much information on this, right? On this site. We can go to courts, unique, about. Let's go to about, see if that shows anything. Ready to build your own NFT project? Yes, I am. I already have mine already being created. 10,000, lady in red. Uh, courts, art, blog, press, press. Let's go to press. Nothing. So it just started, but literally it's going to be set up and it's going to be something where you can have a choice where you want to buy physical say a hoodie say you want to get clothes you get this uh avatar clothes or you get this glasses you get this outfit you can you can choose if you wanted it augmented reality you want it in a virtual reality you want it in a physical reality uh those types of things those types of options at checkout you can buy all three and sometimes you'll probably be able to get both you can have a physical so if you're a collector of things and you you are in the digital realm and you have one made for you in the digital realm <clears throat> uh, this one person she had a 3d body sculpting of her and all you do is stand in front of a scanner a um, couple walls and they scan your body and then they make you a 3d avatar in that project so if you have the physical backed by the or the the digital backed by the physical it might be more valuable and more needed uh, more unique as they say so i just want to show that the unique so check out unique you can go to telegram twitter discord i believe that is and find out more information 
So Terra Virtue, this is another one that I just realized I just found out about and where you can post, you can marketplace. Is this, oh, so Tarzan, I was looking at Tarzan yesterday and you can actually look at, click on Tarzan. This is where the world is going into. You can view them in 3D, right? And he's gonna load up. We're at 40 minutes right now. So hang tight, he's gonna load up. Sit back and drink your coffee with me. It's early here in Hawaii still. And it's going slow because I had a lot of farming and mining and town star running all night. So I'll probably have to restart my computer. But uh, this is pretty much, look at that. I looked at this on my phone and it shows up not as well on the phone as it does here. But this is, this is somebody made this, all right? And there's a lot of, you can use Blender, you can use uh, Unreal Engine. I'm gonna learn Blender. So say you wanna buy something like that, right? Or a necklace or that necklace or this Tarzan. So this Tarzan could be created as a statue. Right, and uh, say you want to buy them. Tw number three of 2,500 minted. And there's information on them, $59. So he's a virtual. Say you want to buy the physical as well, or the augmented, all three of them. You can get all three in one shot. And that's gonna be possibly the future of checkout. You know, you, you don't have to just buy one. You can buy all three, and that might, might be more valuable. So looking, looking at those, and then you can go collect tokens and staking, farming, rewards, create. Uh, so these are new channels, new websites that are out for you to look at, for you to experience. And if you're a gamer, if you're a developer, maybe you want to create this, have this avatar for your game and implement him into your game. Right. He's already got some scripting and some coding. He's got the bones or he moves. He's motion. <clears throat> the last thing I want to hit on is something that I've been using. Gamer hash that I found out where you can mine. And it has my account, my balance so far today. And I'll show you because it's nothing. It's transparent. So gamer coin at dollar forty nine. They have one that I've been playing. You have to complete a campaign. You get forty dollars of G gamer GHX. So if you want to check out these coins, GHX, uh, this is MBTC. So MBTC is a little bit better than you know, Satoshi's. Actually, make a little bit more. <clears throat> and this is GUSD. I haven't figured out for this, but this is the Gemini token. Which, if you have a Gemini account. I'm not sure if this can mine, this gamer hash mines for Gemini or it's just there where you can transfer. But if you want to buy, say, and this is where it all comes in, because I believe that this is going to be the future of the GameStops. <clears throat> like, if GameStop stays in business, how it stays in business, you can buy this stuff relatively cheap. And this is just for PCs right now, right? You can buy skin store. Look at they have a skin store. You can go check out the skins, and that's what I'm looking at making how how to make a skin. <clears throat> and they're pretty cheap. Three dollars and forty three cents. Forty two dollars is the most expensive one I've seen on here. I guess there's more. Thirty seven, forty three, thirty three. <clears throat> you can look at sales. Gamer coin. This is one that I have mining in the background all the time. And it seems to work a little bit better than, say, the nice hash. So nice hash is one that's mining. A lot of people stopped mining because they're afraid that everything is going to get banned. Um, there's been a lot of pushback, you know, states, territories, countries with mining, illegalizing mining, saying that it's um, harmful to the environment, that it takes too much energy. And all I say is that's just PR, that's just hoopla, because if you look at all the military systems and all the SpaceX systems and all the flying of ships and everything takes energy right it's all about energy so does it take too much too much energy or too little energy and you're helping the you're helping people because you're mining so you're mining something they're getting something you're getting something and it's all in the algorithm but this is something that I use you can mine Bitcoin specifically and this is what I've mined so far 
it just shows your total assets so what you want to do if you do this type of thing even like gamer hash so it'll show me what I have in my go back to the page so you just download it pretty much download it for wherever App Store Google Play gamer hash you log in through these areas and this is not financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only however if you don't have it I uh, look at it like the lottery if you don't have it you're <laughs> if you don't have it you don't have it you'll never benefit you can't lose well you can't win you can't lose you can stay in the on the bleachers and the no, nosebleeds and watch watch the show but uh, if you don't get the lottery tickets you'll never get a chance even though they say on the lottery tickets one in a million chances right but if you don't play then you'll never get a chance look at this one point nineteen hundred percent mega city went up if you're following that one a gaming Shiba down two percent so that's pretty much what I want to touch on and then if you want to look on list of NFT VR and AR tokens 2021 all right here is different information so just type in buy NFT for AR VR physical items things like that nature and it'll show you different information how the VR company Spatial became the Airbnb for NFTs. Uh, just get creative on what you want to look at. AR and NFTs, can the two work together? So we're lo looking at that and what is a metaverse? Start looking at what the metaverse is. They've been projecting that in the commercials, TV, advertisements, everything. Everything you watch, everything you see, there's generally a metaverse type feel to it. There's an ambiance about it, um, how they make it. Whether it's the angle that they use, whether it's the avatars they use, whether it's the cuteness that they use, um, the sounds they use, they throw little bits here and there, right? To make it look more like even from the movies if you're looking at the movies they make it more like you're in the movie rather than just from a director producer standstill type way back in the day it was like standing still the camera was not motion it was standing still you're they were moving now the camera is moving as well as they're moving so it's kind of putting you more in the driver's seat where you're seeing this in a virtual type type realm you're not just in the back seat sitting down in a movie theater <clears throat> so any information of course always click subscribe and share this information and check out my interconnected website uh, for more information there's going to be more of this coming out as we move forward so check out the olympics enjoy the olympics enjoy the super bowl if you're into those things enjoy the markets don't get too fearful of the doom and gloom of the media because that's what they're meant for they're meant for your attention <laughs> they want your attention if they don't have your attention they'll do anything they can to keep it to get it so stay out of those those mindsets and stay out of those hooks and all they're doing is like fishing they're fishing for hooks for clicks so you know this is where it's at if you want to look at elon musk augmented reality nft platform and nema gets backing um and you know this is where it's at for me I look at information I look at people that, that know this information inside and out and then people that are studying it because the people that are studying it will understand it so how do I know this stuff inside and out well I dabble into the AR world I dabble into the virtual world I create the environments I create these these uh, things I learn these systems I learn the, how to make the skins I'm watching a video on how to make a skin it's so easy on a platform where you don't have to do much the coding's already embedded into it literally all you have to tell it is how to make it um, and that's on the pa the, pa the blender literally you can watch a YouTube video on how to make a shirt and you can make it tailored however you want it within about five minutes um, so easy it's as easy as one two three so with that, uh, more to follow. Keep coming back. Have a great day, a great weekend. Aloha.